Hey everybody, Brandon again. And once again, we're talking about Chrome OS Flex today. And what I kind of wanted to go over is issues that I currently have with Chrome OS Flex that prevent me from using it as my main operating system. Now, it works great on my two laptops, which I have a 2011 MacBook Air and this Asus L210M laptop. And they're both secondary devices, and Chrome OS Flex for them does everything I need it to. And it's been working great. Um, but for my main computer, which... Let me see. I'm recording this on one of the Chrome OS boxes, by the way. You see there, it's... Uh, it's a machine with four monitors that I use for software development. And there's a few things um, that the system still is missing that prevent me from installing it on that, which currently is using Fedora Linux. Um, but surprisingly, one of the issues is not the multi-monitor support. I actually put the boot drive into that computer. It is a AMD Ryzen 39-something X, 12-core with 32 gigs of RAM. And it ran actually decently on that thing. It has an AMD graphics card. And uh, all four of the monitors worked fine on it. I didn't have any troubles with that. There's actually good multiple screen management in Chrome OS Flex. So that part's good. But here are some things uh, in no particular order that are not good. First, let me move my head over here. Here's one thing I wish Chrome OS had. This is minor, but it's a gripe. You can't see the date easily here. I mean, you hover over it and it shows up, but I like the date to always be there. Now that's minor, but something that's a little bigger. On Windows, at least it used to work like this on Windows, you could click on this and there'd be a calendar. I wish we had that on Chrome OS Flex. Um, on the Fedora computer over there, I pop that calendar open up all the time. Um, and it's just handy to have. It's nice having it there instead of having to open the Google calendar. Anyway, it's a minor thing, but it'd, it'd definitely be a nice to have. <clears throat> now, moving on. On Chrome OS Flex, as near as I can tell, you can connect to a Samba share on the network. That's good. I've tested it. It works fine. But you can't share a file on your computer. And I get it. Most Chromebooks don't have that much storage. But with Chrome OS Flex, if we're going to be able to start installing this on all different types of computers... I have that computer over there, I got four hard drives in it. It'd be nice to be able to share one on the network. So if they could add just Samba file sharing into this thing, that'd be awesome. Now, another thing I would really need is um, to be able to run VirtualBox or another virtualization software, but preferably VirtualBox. I tried to get it working on here before and I could not make it work. Now, I've read online somewhere that on the Fido S, I might be saying that wrong. You can actually run VirtualBox on that. I, I can't confirm if that's true. But if it does work on there, then it gives me hope it might be possible on Chrome OS Flex also. Because on my development box, I have two Windows virtual machines that I use quite a bit for Windows development. And it'd be awesome to be able to put those on Chrome OS. So that's one thing. Another thing, Android Studio and um, Android development in general. Now, it's my understanding that Android Studio does work on regular Chrome OS. So that tells me it's probably almost certainly going to come to Chrome OS Flex at some point. And so I think that is something that's going to be resolved on its own. But for a mobile app developer, that's something that's pretty important. I'd also like an actual remote desktop client. We have this Chrome... Where is it at? Chrome Remote Desktop. But as far as I know, this only works if the other machine has Chrome Remote Desktop app on it. Like it doesn't work with RDP or um, VNC or anything like that. As far as I know, I could be wrong. But yeah, I'd like an actual remote desktop application on here. Let's see, what else do I think I'm missing? Um, it would be nice to run Android applications. Not that I personally need them, but for uh, testing and debugging, that'd be great because Windows and Linux and Mac don't really have that. I mean, they have the emulator, but it'd be nice to just double click on an APK and run it. I wouldn't be surprised if that comes at some point, just judging by 
the fact that I think that kind of works on regular Chrome OS. I've never used regular Chrome OS, so I can't say for sure, but I think it does. And I tested the other day, it does work on the Fido OS, so I can see where that would be coming. Let's see. So if I could have the virtual machines, if I could share files, and really, I, there's not much more I need. I mean, it's close to where I could use it as my main system. I know the Linux support could be improved a little bit, but honestly, even as a software developer, I'm like 85 plus percent web apps at this point. And for what I'm not web apps for, things, I mean, I could transition in that direction. And some programs I use often like for making icons and stuff inkscape that works on the linux here so that's good um i always use filezilla quite a bit and that works on here i use gimp sometimes i haven't tested that but i think it probably works i think i've seen youtube videos of other people getting working so it's almost pretty close to where i could use this as my main system it just there's just little things to where it doesn't work it, it could use some better disk management um, software. Like on Linux, I use GNOME disks a lot for creating partitions and formatting and things like that. If there was some kind of tool like that, that would be awesome. Because uh, I doubt if you install GNOME disks through the Linux container, I doubt you'd have access to your main hard drives on this, although I haven't tested it. So yeah, file sharing, better management, file management for people with multiple hard drives. Uh, virtual box, Android development. That's, yeah. Give me those things. I could probably put this on my main system over there. But that's me. I mean, I'm a, I do web and mobile app development. And those are the things I need. But what do you guys do on your computer? What do you guys need? What's keeping you from going full-time to Chrome OS Flex? I feel pretty confident that with the way they're going, they're going to get there, and I'll be able to use it on my main desktop. I could be wrong. Maybe it's wishful thinking. But I, I got my fingers crossed, so we'll see. So, yeah, leave a comment on what you'd like to see before you could use this on your system. But those are kind of my requirements. And it's not there yet, but I think it's going to get there at some point. At least I hope it is. But if not, there's always Linux. So until then, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like the video, let me know what you think, and try to stay out of trouble. I know I will.